<sighs> it's Gigi no Re. This is our actual play of Ryutama. Last episode, should you choose to listen to it, is character creation. Char- I, I said like creation and generation at the same time. Character creation, generation. It was three of us. It was Jim, Tim, and Stefano. In the intervening time, John came, and in the time it took him to eat a pint of ice cream, we created a character. It was like a half pint. It was a half pint. Uh, that was a pint. Was it a pint? It's a Com- bluebell pint. It of comes in pints. cream ice cream. Okay. Well, in the time it get takes salmonella. to create to to consume a pint of ice cream, you can create a Ryutama character, and that's exactly what we did. So now everybody's ready. We're ready to start, and. We shall begin. Daniel is in seat one. Stefano. I'm in the seat two. 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 Ten. Yep. Nobody in seat four. Sad. <laughs> Rip. Listen, listener, just just get a round trip ticket, come out here in a couple of weeks, and sit in seat four. That's all that's all we need from you. Jim, seat five. Evening. And John. I just try to spell magic with a J. <laughs> <laughs> going to be one of those days. Seems about right. I like when you end it with a K. <laughs> you could do both. Like Chaos a J and a K. Magic. Chaos <laughs> magic. Or like M-A-J-I-X. <laughs> Gary Gagax, when he got pushed out of TSR, he made his own company and game, and his game was called Legendary Adventures, but with a J instead of a G in Legendary. That's not true. That's really gross, Gary. That's not Is actually. It? Is it? There's no way that's possible. No, that's literally true. Oh, <laughs> I feel like no. you just made that legend. Dairy. Yeah, that's it's like with a U. Legendary. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. Why wouldn't he just use a G? I, I, it's just a word. I don't know. Don't don't ask me. Who can know the mind of Gary? Who has become this counselor? <laughs> no one. That's the problem. That's the pro- <laughs> he was too free. He was like uh, the George Lucas of RPGs. Somebody just needed to be reining that guy in. <laughs> we like your creativity, Gary, but your ideas are only half good. We just need to take the half that are terrible and excise them. They're a cancerous body. They're a tumor on the body of role-playing games. <laughs> Let's play Ryutama. What is Ryutama? It is a Japanese role-playing game that was translated by one of our esteemed patrons, or co-translated by one of our esteemed patrons. And this esteemed patron also gave us a free copy of it. So I'm using a blissful hardcover of this thing. It's actually very nice. It's well put together. Uh, Wizards of the Coast, you could learn from this. Yeah, it's, uh, the art's really pretty and cute. Yeah, it is. It's great. I like it. And it was written by a Japanese guy, originally, who is a professional GM. He's big in Japan. We, It's a heartwarming, honobono kind of adventure. It's mostly about traveling. You can clip the traveling rules from this game and use them in D&D or whatever you want. And we will see those traveling rules because we are using at least one, maybe two, sample scenarios from the book. The first sample scenario is intended to introduce us to the traveling rules. It's basically four checks each day that radically affect how you do. Like, have your HP or quarter your HP if you fail them. Awesome. Like, a lot more serious than you get in D&D, which is why uh, it's called Hayao, I don't know, whatever, Miyazaki's Oregon Trail sometimes. Very serious effects. But you you can manage them by smart inventory purchases in town, and use of magic and that kind of thing. We are going to begin. Are you gentlemen ready? Peace. We are playing the scenario called In the Grasslands. There is a journaler role, and I think, who is it? John. John. You probably have the sheet that asks you what your destination is. You don't have to write it down now, but your destination is the town of Ifa, and we'll get to that later. Just fill it in as you get to it. But now we will begin. We've already done the shopping, and John, you just have your weapon and a lot of money. Don't okay. worry about it. It is a bright and beautiful day as you walk along a wide green grassland. Here and there, thin trees dot the landscape. It's a great day to be traveling. Now, let's, as we make our first condition check, let's see what each one of you guys looks like, at least your color, class, type, and name. A That's color? all I want. Yeah, did you not put your image color? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So, Stefano... Uh, class, type, and image color, any kind of description. And reason for traveling if you have it. I am a farmer. I'm an attack type. I am green. <laughs> because, All right. Um, yeah, farmer. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, green <clears throat> makes plants sense. and vegetables. And I am fleeing a coven of witches. Nice. In my Al- hometown of Albertville. <laughs> Albert. Yes, this is in the little known Japanese prefecture of <laughs> Alabama. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Yeah, you, don't, you won't find that on many maps, but it's there. And now, 
just for in case you're concerned about how how do these things get generated just go back to the previous episode and listen to that you can pick a class and then separately pick a type which is like your role in combat so you can these things are modular tim uh i am ichigo <laughs> i have uh, my color is red i have red hair and green eyes i am from Montgomery. <laughs> and um <laughs> I'm I'm just a minstrel and I'm traveling because I want to get inspiration for my for my songs. I'm gonna build up a nice repertoire of songs to be very popular. <laughs> All right, Jim. Montgomery. Uh, that's spelled M U N T G A M U R I. Thank you. Can I redo the pronunciation of Albertville? Albertville. Albertville. Yes, there we go. Jim, great guys. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm playing the part of Tammy tonight. Tammy's great. I'm pink. I'm pink all over. Tammy yeah. again. Uh, I'm toothy. Yeah. Tooth blonde. Wait, toothy? Yeah. Got a lot of teeth. Okay. All right. Okay. Real more bad. teeth than the average person? <laughs> it looks like it. Like numerically? Uh, you'd think that I had more. Okay. But maybe you don't. They're just really big. Yeah. Just, just uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Are there rows? If you look at me, you think toothy. <laughs> yeah. Toothy Tammy. Look at him teeth. Uh, <clears throat> and I have an overdeveloped bosom. And <laughs> class and type? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm a healer, uh, magic healer. Healer, and then the magic is the type. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so John, what did I make for you? <laughs> I am something. A hunter. A hunter. Yeah. I'm a magic type hunter. Yeah. My character's name is Otho. Yep. I'm 20 years old. You're an old boy. I'm a male. Okay. And does anyone know why they're traveling? My color is orange, and I'm traveling for self discovery. Okay, there we go. Real tight. We're ready to go. Dagger. I'm trying to expand my education. Oh, I want to. I want to better myself. I like all this. That's, I want to further my education. That's all great. Mm-hmm. Now, like I said, it's a bright and beautiful day. It's time. As you're looking at the pine trees, you're setting off. You see a shape suddenly whistle through the pine trees on your right, and go into the clouds. It's green and large, bat-like, lizard-like. Who can say? Maybe a green dragon? Bat lizard. That represents my Ryujin. In this game, Ryutama, the GM has a character as well that you have a character sheet for. It's your Ryujin. It's your helpful dragon. And there are different kinds you can pick. And once you level up, which is probably after the first session, I'll have to look at that up, you get different abilities you can use to help the party. So it's, it's not... Um, combative kind of game it's cooperative you want to try to help them out unless you don't so my dragon will probably be rather absent he'll be watching from the edges this time but maybe he'll show up sooner or later we'll see but now it's time for your first mechanical entry into this game your condition check this represents how you're feeling in the morning and it is very important It can have a detrimental effect on the rest of your day and cascade its consequences all the way through the session. So to make your condition check, please roll the things that you roll. There should be a list somewhere. Let me find it here. I believe it is strength plus dex. Strength plus spirit, according to the character sheet. Strength plus spirit, that's right. Oh, yeah, I've got it right here. And everybody rolls it together. Strength plus spirit. You should have a die that represents each one of those from D4 all the way to D8. Can I have an extra six? An extra six, yes, here you go. <coughs> and you should have a condition tracker on the top right. So make a note there. If you get 10 or more, you get a bonus. Did anybody get 10 or more? Did anybody get two? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no no yeah. like two total that's five. nope that's, okay that's five plus one six then you are fine on a success you uh oh that just determines your condition score now let's see what what do so you make your condition check and now you've seen the dragon and you're moving on through the pine forest we're going to make a travel check so the travel check is made by everyone this determines your the ability of each traveler to traverse the terrain without incident. It's strength plus dex. The first one was strength plus spirit. This one is strength plus dex. Hmm, I get plus one because I'm a minstrel. And the difficulty of this check is going to be six. Hmm. So oh, let me know if well you pass, okay. succeed, or crit. A crit fail is two ones. 
a crit success is maxes on both dice or sixes on both dice. Okay. Pass. Did anybody Strength get? and dex, is that what we said? Yep. Yes. I see snake eyes over no. here. And John. I did have what? Did you really him. get snake eyes? I did, man. But I'm a hunter, yo. <laughs> That's hey, a hunter, sometimes you yo. got bad days. That's not great, sir. That's bad. So let's see what happens on a crit fail. On a crit fail, it's called a fumble. Everyone gets a fumble point. That's for sure. There should be a place for fumble points on the mm. top right. So we all get one? Yeah, including John, everyone else also gets one. Tight. <clears throat> you can use them as a currency later to improve your chances on, your, on a particular check, kind of like uh, inspiration. So on a fumble, you're going to, you're going to love this, John, quarter your character's current HP rounding down. Nice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> so we can imagine you're walking along and you get to a, a narrow pass uh, and there's a... Watch, guys. Watch me jump this. I can jump it. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. And, of course, you splat and tumble down into the ravine and it, it takes like an hour to fish you up with a combination of vines and climbing and all this kind of stuff, right? Oh, stupid moss on head. I'm slipping on the <laughs> You sound like Kanye, kind of. <laughs> Kanye the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of did it on purpose. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. So we've done the condition check and the travel check. You'll do those each day you actually travel in Ryutama. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make the check and then together, I mean, the GM can do it if he's so inclined, but you guys can collaborate on why exactly the things went as they did. But everyone else... Uh, if you just make a success and not a crit, you just travel all the day without harm. So now we get to our next event. And the, the, the book is pretty cool in that it provides very step-by-step -step detailed information on how to prepare a scenario. The scenarios are not like old school D&D where you just prepare a location and then let the players go free in it with freedom for them to do whatever they choose. And it's not like new school adventures where there's an actual storyline that you're supposed to go through for a long period of time. Instead, you plan out several days, and it's as if you rolled random encounters, but rolled them all in advance and planned exactly when in the day those would occur. And then the random rolls interact with those to create whatever happens. So that was the first event. If you were preparing this, you would have prepared that event. And now I'm going to the next event. Now, if we played for real, I wouldn't talk about these. I wouldn't mention events and this kind of thing. I'm just doing this for the benefit of the listeners and for, for you guys to, to know how the game works. Now, after walking for an entire day, the scenery doesn't seem to change. Just as the sun is about to set, someone's shadow appears on the horizon. Eventually, the small shadow grows until you can see who it is. A young man wearing a robe and blue glasses. He is looking up at the sky the entire time as he's getting closer and closer to you guys. And it's getting toward dusk now. And just as he's about to bump into you guys, he says, Oh, oh, hi. Uh, I'm Joshua. You guys just uh, traveling? Yep. Just, just. Hey there, I'm Tammy. To get... How are you? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that from my calculations, it seems like the weather is going to turn bad tomorrow. It's going to be really rainy. So just please be careful, okay? What's your name, blue-eyed weather soothsayer? Oh, my name's Joshua. I'm a wizard, like oh, yeah. a, like a weather wizard. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not really good at it yet, but I'm ninety nine point six three 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 repeating, of course, percent sure that it's going to rain really hard tomorrow. And you guys should take whatever precautions you need. I mean, get an umbrella, get under some cover. Myself, and he he reaches into his backpack and pops out a huge umbrella. I'm ready to go. For you Wait. guys, I would suggest you just do whatever you can to make sure you're not going to get... I wouldn't want you to get sick. You're on a journey just like me, right? Yep. What? Wh where are you going? Well, I'm going to the big city called Birmingham, and <laughs> I'm trying to prove myself to the guild. I, I want to become a master wizard, but I'm just starting out, you know? Just just living my life. I, I'm, not, I'm not really that good of a wizard. I'm going to tell you that right so now. So should we assume that what you're saying about the weather is false? No, I'm not that good. But even pe a broken clock is right two times a day. Yep. This is one of those times. Is it? Yeah. How can we know? You just have to trust me. I mean, look at the sky yourself, and it looks perfectly clear and wonderful. <laughs> okay. 
But do you see that slight curl about 58.7 degrees north-northwest? That is a sure sign of hard rain tomorrow. Hmm. And I don't want you guys to get the sniffles. Well, thank you, Joshua, for hey, Joshua. your heads up. Did you know you don't actually get sniffles from the rain? He adjusts his glasses. Wait, like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's an idiom. I, I understand that. Thank you. <laughs> just, just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, right well, I'm going to go on. Hope you guys... Don't get the sniffles. Don't hey, get the sniffles. what kind of terrain are we walking through? It's grassland. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll see you guys later. Be safe. And he walks off. Bye. Now then, it is time... If you guys are done interacting with Joshua, which I assume you are. I'm creating a song based on grasslands. There you go. So that is part of his minstrel skills. As he goes through a terrain and a weather, it is clear weather and grassland terrain, you can create a song that when played in one of those situations, either in the same terrain or in the same weather, will get everyone a bonus on their, is it condition check? Or it travel is the some kind of check. Does he actually top, have to make a song now? Wait, top topography. T N Topo- T N colon top. No, that's that's the like DC you roll against. Well, it doesn't tell me then what the. Check I is will for. tell you. No, no, no. It was no. I think it gives me a plus one. Plus one to journey all the checks to any check. All yeah. the checks. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Nope. To Plus one role. to their next roll. Oh, yeah, any roll. Yeah. Hmm, let me think of my song name. And you can use it when in a suitable area. Okay. Yeah, so you roll Dex Plus Spirit against the topography, which I think here is just six. So Ballad of the Grassland is the sample one. So you can use that if you want or do whatever. So that's something the minstrel can do. And now it's time for our first camp check. So we're going to try to find a suitable campground for the night. Because it's a two-day journey to our next town, Ifa, the market town, where you can find cute items sold at a great discount. Normally, they're two times the normal price. But in Ifa this time of year, you can get cute items for dirt cheap. Yes. Absolutely. So for a camp check. Can I get a hat for my turtle? Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) What color you want again? (laughs) So normally, there would be a third check. We've already done our condition check, our travel check to see how well you do during the travel. Uh, normally there would be a direction check if we weren't on a well-traveled road, but there's no chance of getting lost here because you're just on a road. So we're skipping that and going straight to the camping check. There is one person who needs to make this check, but another person can help. The check is dex plus int. Who would be the best person for that? You and Jim have the same stats. Now he's got, he's no. got two D8. I changed uh, my stats. Are you changing your stats? I don't think they were min-maxed properly for my, my class. Okay. So who wants to help him? You make the same check, but against DC5. Okay. He's I'll making help. it against DC6. You're going to help? Okay. We fail. No, I got no. a nine. You got a nine. So you give him plus one. What did you get? Five. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> we have a total of 12. No, we don't. We have a total of five together. So you got a four, and then plus his one. You got a five? That's rough, buddy. I'm going to double check. Sorry, that buddy. It, yeah, camp check a six. So on a failure... At the start of the next day, each character recovers only 2 HP and MP. But luckily, you didn't expend any today. So that's not going to be a big problem. So what does the campsite you find look like? It's got to be garbage, uh, but not the worst you can imagine. So there's no town in between here and Aoife, uh, but we have to have some explanation for this mechanical result. Maybe it's like a side of a, a cliff with not really a true cave, but the water's like rolling down and still dripping on our heads. So we have some sort of cover, but it's Wait, did still it rain rolling though, did on it? us. Did it it's rain? about to. Yeah, so maybe Is that's it? why it's crappy. Maybe there were scattered showers on the way. Okay. So while we're hiding up against the rock. I like it. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. And now we get to our next event. And as you guys think of things you want to say non-mechanically, just interject them as you, as you wish. But it's the beginning of the next day. After a camp, you would normally refill all your MP, like your magic or mental points, and you double your HP. But in this case, because we failed the camp check, we only get plus two and whatever the other MP was. Plus, let's look at it. Two HP and MP. Okay. So instead of doubling and full filling, we get plus two. Now, it's the next day. The party wakes up to the sound of heavy rain pouring against the tent flaps. Before you know it, the inside of the tent is starting to get soaked. At this rate, everyone's going to catch a cold. <laughs> Sniffles! So, condition check again. Now, Tim, you get plus one on it because you're a minstrel. 
Always. And I guess if you do your song, everyone gets a plus one to this check. Is that uh, right? It would not count because <clears throat> this guy's not are we in the... Well, I don't know. Are oh, we still in Grasslands? You're still in Grasslands. Okay. So if it's either or, then Grasslands can count. My song is a haiku. <laughs> Green grass waving free. Look to the blue and clear sky. Much blessings to come. Very good. Love it. All right. Let's, let's, let me read the rules real quick. You can play music that reinvigorates your companions once per, once per scenario. That's what it is. So if you want to so, use it now, like once per session. Per session. Yeah. Okay. So between here and the next town, you can only use it once. If you want to use it now, that's fine. It's probably a good time. You think you would think as the GM that now is a good time? Yeah. Okay. Let's, go and let's just it. do it anyway. Let's just do it. See what happens. Okay. But that's the limitation. Once per scenario. Okay. Because I was thinking, why would you not just do it every time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope Tammy doesn't get uh, wet. And we're making condition check. So you, you so can choose you, to use it on your condition check thing. now. or So you make your roll for that, uh, that to see if everybody gets your bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and the DC is the terrain, or the topography, I should say. Dex plus spirit. And the topography DC here. has increased because it's raining like buckets, pouring like buckets. The DC is now nine. Okay. So everyone's condition check is... Ver- is Oh, it's just whatever your condition is. Sorry. Oof. I don't get any bonuses of that. What's my condition? Sorry. Do you want to give them a bonus to the travel check to avoid injury or to their condition check? Well, I didn't make it. Oh, you failed? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I... Never mind then. He sings... So we can imagine him trying to recite the haiku with his... What? Zither? Yep. uh, And it just falling flat. You can't even hear him over the rain. Bow. 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 Okay. Yes, sir? What kind of bonuses does my hunter get to like doing things like he has to that condition check? Uh, it's, it depends. It's listed on the back side of sheet. I don't think you have anything to condition checks and stuff. Not everybody does. You've got nothing. Nothing. Okay. You track. You trap. You can trap, hunt, and track. Just, yeah. I was wondering if like the navigating nope. should have a bonus or not. Mm. Seems like it should. That's Sorry. me. I get that. <laughs> Seems like it should. But you probably have spells that can do that. Minstrel gets plus one to direction. Now then, condition checks. Did everyone roll a new condition and then mark it on your sheet? It oh. overwrites whatever your old condition was. Hold up. Hold Strength up plus spirit. Strength. Okay, hold it. Uh, da, 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 da. And let me know if you critically fail or critically succeed. Actually, it doesn't matter. It was the same as before. If it's 10 or more, just let me know. Otherwise, I don't care. It's 10 or more. 10 or more? I got nine, but I add one because I'm a farmer. So that's that gives more. me ten, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's yes. raining. I didn't realize I had the spell, but I can make huge leaves appear that are, it could be used as an umbrella for up to seven people. Oh. The leaves may be used for a plus one bonus to rolls involving rainy weather. The leaves cannot be used in conjunction with actual umbrellas. Okay. Then you can use that for our travel check. Okay. You don't need it for condition because you're not rolling against anything. Okay. That's, that's nice, bro. All right. So people who got ten or more, you can... For this day, increase one of your stats by one die. So D8 to D10, D4 to D6. Gladly. Just for this day. And just make sure you know it's temporary. Excellent. And you've seen how these mechanics could be used in another system? It seems pretty simple to me. Yeah. And you don't know this yet, but there are lots of other side mechanics that interact with these like the kind of food you eat before you go the kind of gear you have like if you have rain boots and this kind of stuff they give you different bonuses if you're in rainy weather or dry weather or whatever it makes sense all right so we've done the condition check heavy rain falls on the party walking like this is dangerous the party should look for shelter from the rain the party can find shelter among sparse trees. Now, this it's the it's an introductory scenario, so it's trying to show you the kinds of things you should think about when you're actually playing. So we're just going to go along with it. Uh, the party should look for shelter among sparse trees. If a PC passes an int plus spirit check against DC5, so either one of the magic boys would probably be the one for that, the party can find shelter under a large tree. What about if the PCs large don't umbrellas? Look f- uh, this is not leaves. versus that yet. Okay. We're not doing the travel check yet, I don't think. <clears throat> so, John or Jim, I guess all of you should make the check, actually. Why couldn't I use the, the leaves while, while you, we're sleeping? not rolling against the rain. We're just rolling to find shelter. Okay. But if we don't find shelter, is the rain going to have negative effects on us? When we make the travel check to see if we get through without injuries or problems, then that's when you should cast the spell before that check happens. Okay. It'll last 12 hours. Oh, you can cast it now, then. Yeah. Okay. 
So you cast a spell, and what happens? What do we, we all, get? We all have cover. No, I mean, fictionally. Oh, well. I don't even know what the spell says. <clears throat> I'm going to read it again. Yeah. Huge leaves appear that can be used as umbrellas for up to seven people. The leaves may be used for a plus one bonus in, to rolls involving rainy weather. The leaves cannot be used in conjunction with actual umbrellas. Okay. So, pop, 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 pop. All these leaves appear that you guys can hold above your heads to keep the rain off as you're looking for shelter. Now, everyone cool. go ahead and roll intelligence plus spirit. I have a little, my little item is mm-hmm. a uh, succulent. Oh, and I just whispered to him. And after I whispered to him, all of our leaves appeared. Beautiful. <laughs> I have a succulent. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's what we're looking for. That's the, uh, that's the Hanabono spirit. Int plus what? Int plus spirit. And you, if anybody gets five or more, let me know. I got 10. All right, that's all we need to know. So you find shelter under a large pine tree. Uh, And as you guys are heading toward the pine tree with your large leaves... Can we we say it's a maple tree instead? Yeah, if you want. I mean, maple leaves are going to provide more shelter than pine needles. Okay. You find a maple tree. Thank you. This is the maple maple story now. Why not an oak? Let's do an oak tree. I think oak's probably the... What if it's like a ginkgo tree because they have huge leaves and are also Southeast Asian? What if it's a really, really large fern? I'll go with that. (laughs) Ginkgo tree. (laughs) (laughs) Ginkgo tree. So you find a large ginkgo tree that's about 10 meters tall. Meters? Is that like communist? What what does that mean? What is this? America. (laughs) I think that's like seven feet, I think. (laughs) (laughs) Savage. Seven, seven inches, seven inches tall. Seven point four. Feet. That's three point two millimeters, okay. inches, millimeter per right. foot average. What is that in football fields? <laughs> With it, that's what. I, that's the real question. <laughs> How many football fields? Is that's one tenth of football field. <laughs> How many first downs? <laughs> it's a. <laughs> it's about three first downs tall. <laughs> With its abundance of broad green leaves, it seems like it's a suitable place to escape the rain. When the party arrives, you notice something here, guys. A brown-furred humanoid the size of a small child seems to be looking for something, digging in the dirt. Uh, He turns around. Uh, Let me try to find a a, a picture. I've got a picture somewhere, and I'm going to show it to you. Is this our first fight? I mean, oh no, wait, that's the, that's not, that's not, that's the, uh, that's the Jawa. That's the Jawa. It's my totally bad. wrong. My bad. It could be a fight, although I don't, don't do think that. you're supposed don't make it to a fight. be a fight. Was that a decent Jawa? It's I, Boutini, is what you're going for. Yeah, but I mean, Boutini. Mm. 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 You're, maybe you had the right words. You had the right words. I did. Sure. I did. I did. I didn't I think my, I think my, my pitch was better. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Can we try it again? Boutini. There you go. That's better. <laughs> that's better. I can't, I can't find an illustration of these guys. Uh, so you're just going to have to use that accursed faculty called your imagination. Search so what is its head just shape like? Imagine a, a small brown fur child-sized thing that is like a humanoid cat. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking- I guess this is okay. See these guys on the rope bridge? No. That's from it's behind. It's way too small. It's pretty small. <laughs> They're fighting with... They're little what? cat people? Yeah, little cat people. That's why with, you said say cat person. Well, like I mean Garfield. I wanted to find better things, and they have pots on their heads. <laughs> pots on their heads. They carry things in pots sorry, on their John. heads. <laughs> it's supposed to be cute, okay? Aw. So he's, he's he's digging, like looking for something. Like when you say pot, do you mean like like it's a, a Hello Kitty, like an iron skillet? <laughs> Did we just find Hello Kitty's little brother. <laughs> no, like a clay pot. Oh, here we go. Or like a saucepan, they're you know, call, like a quart saucepan. They're called Neko goblins or Kaneko goblins. Oh, see here we go. Oh my! See, oh, they're oh. so cute. They're cute. They have little swords that are kawaii. like little fish bones. Oh, it's kawaii. kawaii days. All right, so that's that's a little. You find a little baby one, okay? You find a baby. Aww, and he <laughs> he says, "Oh, I dropped my earring that my sister made for me." <laughs> will, you, will you help me look for it? Come on, yeah. <laughs> so will, will you help him look for it? He's looking for the uh, the earring that his sister made for yes. him. Well, yes. Well, hey there, little fella. <laughs> yes. Come here. My name's Tammy. No, oh, no, no. Oh. Tammy makes her return. I, 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 so I grasp him and, uh, and hold him to my ample bosoms. Oh, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> like in between. Oh, this. Oh. Very anime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> My name is Kotaro Kubunya. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> <laughs> killing me. Okay. Can anyone do a, a purr? I can't. I don't even know what that sounds like. <gasps> there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody who's yeah, looking snore. for the earring, please make a dex plus intelligence check against DC 8. I'm on this. Yeah, I, I nailed it. So just under the root of a tree, you find a silver earring in the shape of a crescent moon. When you pull it up, Kotaro leaps down and snatches it from you. And he says, oh, thank you, Kabunya. This means so much to me, (laughs) Kabunya. Here, here. And from nowhere, like from literally nowhere on his body, like he just reaches behind him from nowhere, and he brings out this packet of delicious rations, rations, uh, Mm. katsuobushi. And a large umbrella. He says, Oh, here you go, Kabunya. Thank you. And he scampers off. Huh? So someone may put down a large umbrella. Don't use it. Then our magic leaves will... Well, you can, just, you can just carry it with you. Yeah. So okay. he doesn't have to use spell slot Is next it a time. cute yeah. umbrella? It's not cute, but it's large. Maybe someone can modify it to be cute later in town. Is it pink? That would be too cute. I think it's going to be brown. (laughs) It's going to be brown and furred, just like the the Kaneko Goblin. Like a penguin. (laughs) Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, okay, never mind. Like penguin from Batman. A brown furry win? Yeah, brown furry. That doesn't, like, log up with water. I'll take it. Yeah. And then you get delicious rations. Katsuobushi. And as he hands this over to you, as soon as he hands over, imagine zooming in on his furry claw, handing you the large umbrella. As soon as someone takes it, who takes it? Me. I take it. Okay, oh. Tammy takes it. As soon as Tammy, Tammy takes it. it, as soon as Tammy takes it, the rain stops. Get out! Look at that! Look! Look at that! Would you uh, look at that? Now, by now, it's noon time. It's time to start heading to the goal again. The weather or terrain difficulty is only seven now, and the party once more begins walking toward their goal. Normally, there's no need for a direction check when following a road like we've been doing, but because of the rain, the road has been washed out. Mm. So we now need to make a direction check. Now it is time. Okay, I get plus one on direction checks. For you to do your song, right? Oh, no, you already did you do your song? No, you failed yeah. your song. Yeah. And you already did your thing for a plus one on this direction check. Anything that involves the rain. Is it still raining? <laughs> no. no. It's yes. Said it stopped. It says weather is rain, but not heavy rain. Oh, okay. That's oh. what it is. <clears throat> but I think even if the rain caused it, it's still involved. The rain was involved with it. Well, the rain is relevant to this check because it's still raining. Yeah. So we get plus, everyone gets a plus one. Because we have his umbrella leaves. Plus one of the roll, right? And everybody yeah. rolls. Wait, what was the thing you said about temporarily upsizing your die for what? If you rolled a 10 plus on your condition check, okay, you choose one stat to increase the die size of. And this is a direction check. Only one person needs to make this. It's int so plus got, int. I've got d10 right now on int. Oh. It's, it's int plus int or it's just int plus something? Int plus int. So Jim should make it. One person makes it with help from somebody else. Oh, okay. So how, how does help work? It's 12. With help, it's just like um, in D&D 5, you know, you roll a DC 10 check, yeah. and if you succeed, you grant advantage. In this, you roll a DC 5 check, and if you succeed, you grant plus 1. Mm-hmm. I rolled a 12. Okay. But you didn't roll doubles or sixes? Nope. Okay. Or I should say maxes or sixes. So on a 12, I believe it's just you get where you're going without a problem. Let me double check that. What about your bonus? Your plus 1 makes you 13? <clears throat> it's, it's what's actually on the dice. Oh. That matters for this. Direction check, success, party finds the way. Yep. No big deal. All right. So the party, uh, direction check, the party must roll travel check, and a direction check. Oh, now it's time for the, okay. Travel check first. I'm sorry. I didn't read ahead. Travel check first, which is your, am I going to get hurt or something? And then the direction check. We'll keep that direction check. Retroactively, we're going to roll the travel check now. Everyone has to roll it. It's D, it's dex plus strength versus DC seven. Any plus, and you will get the plus one that? from the umbrellas, or the okay. leaf umbrellas that John gave you. Yes. Ye- Everybody succeed. Oh, Eleven. Yeah, five. Five. So you failed, but didn't critically fail or fumble. Movement is have. No, no, sorry, sorry, wrong. Have your current, your character's current HP rounding down. So whatever your HP is, divide it in two, round down. We can imagine you catch a cold. You start sniffling and sneezing. <laughs> oh, I actually caught a cold. It's just like Joshua said. It's because of the rain. 
Yep. I blame it on the rain. All right, so we did the travel check. We did the direction check already. Jim did really well on it, so we're not going to lose our way. We can imagine him seeing his or seeing her way, Tammy seeing her way through mm-hmm. the cloud, through the cloudy rain. And da, 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 if you failed on the direction check, you would lose your way, and we'd be stuck in the wild overnight and have to make another camp check and then another travel check. But we don't have to do that. That's that's for losers. Yeah. So now a red color. It's it's sunset. The weather's clear. A red color fills the grassland as the sun sets. The clouds have become sparse and are disappearing quickly. The rain dragon and the cloud dragon seem to have gone home now. In the dark, you can see dots of light from inside the town. And you arrive at the large market town of Aoife with the grand castle looming up in the distance. And that is our first session over of Ryutama. The next scenario has you starting right from where you left off. And there's shopping and fighting and staying at an inn and all that stuff. All right, uh, we will save any thoughts we have for the after dark. If you want to hear the after dark, that's when uh, that's when the boys just dudes get space just to be dudes. You know what I'm saying? We just sit and talk and chat about what happened, what we think about everything. You want to lean back and man spread. That's right. Not everything. Just not stuff everything. About the game. A select, a select number of things. Yeah. And you can access those episodes if you go. And thirty-seven more posts, as Patreon tells me, including my alpha of the superhero RPG that I wrote up over the weekend. Over the week, uh, you can check that out. That's at Patreon.com/slash GGNoRe. If the minimum contribution, one dollar, also gets you access to our Discord channel where you can chat with us and tell us what you hate about everything you just heard. Until the next time, it's Gigi Nori.